West Hollywood celebrates National Night Out Against Crime. WeHo TV News is next. Welcome to WeHo TV News. I'm Larry Carroll. The West Hollywood City Council, Sheriff's Department, and local firefighters joined local residents recently for the National Night Out, sending the message that our neighborhoods are organized and working to stop crime. Neighborhood watch groups hosted several citywide block parties with plenty of food and entertainment. You know, National Night Out is probably, well, it's my favorite event because it's the one night that we get to leave our homes and meet our neighbors and realize why why we're so active in our neighborhood and we stay active because we love our neighborhood and we want it to be the best that it can be. This is a, this is a great uh, turnout and I want to say thank you to everyone here for your support. I've worked probably all over the county and the deputies that are here in West Hollywood are so dedicated to this city, you have no idea. It, it is phenomenal what they do every day behind the scenes and just to keep everybody safe, it's wonderful. National Night Out is designed to increase crime and drug prevention awareness and strengthen partnerships between law enforcement and neighborhoods. For more information about National Night Out and neighborhood watch groups in West Hollywood, you can visit WeHo.org or contact the West Hollywood Public Safety Division. That number is 323-848-6831. City of West Hollywood has launched the pilot program of the WeHo Pedals Bike Share Program. Members of the community, along with city officials, had an opportunity to take a look at the new share stations and smart bikes. It was also a good time to enroll as a founding member of WeHo Pedals for a discounted rate. Gotta love that. And you're invited to a celebration to officially launch the city's WeHo Pedals bike share system featuring a ribbon cutting and an escorted bike ride through the city. Those who enroll in the program with uh, on site there will receive a special thank you gift while supplies last. About WeHo Pedals bike share program, it will officially launch on Tuesday, August 30th with up to 20 bike share stations open and available throughout the city. And the community is invited to join us for the ribbon cutting and the inaugural ride, and the launch event will take place that day at West Hollywood Library Auto Car Court starting at 11.30 a.m. And as part of the bike share education, We Hope Pedals Bike Share Basics classes will be held in Plummer Park on the second Sunday of each month through November. The official launch of the city's WeHo Pedals bike share system is on Tuesday, August 30th, starting at 11 a.m., 11.30 that is actually, in the West Hollywood Library Auto Court. Now for more information about the program and classes, you can visit WeHo.org or contact West Hollywood Senior Planner Tiffany Robinson. Tiffany can be reached at 323-848-6868. The City of West Hollywood co-sponsored the second annual Cannabis Education Forum recently. The theme this year was the Golden State of Cannabis. Now, this forum is an educational event providing community members with an opportunity to learn about cannabis and the topics surrounding its use. Topics, of course, included the impacts of legalization, the current state of the industry, and the real-world application of cannabis and hemp use. So we are a national and a local organization trying to end the war on drugs. That's our small mission. And we work in three areas, um, criminal, crim, uh, sorry, criminal justice, sentencing reform, uh, public health, uh, overdose prevention, harm reduction. And the third area we work in is marijuana law reform. And that's why I'm here today to talk about Prop 64, the Adult Use of Marijuana Act. And I think that that's where we need to get, um, where mothers and you know family friends and parents are able to see this and say, yeah, I could see myself doing that instead of popping a couple of you know Advil, I could see putting a couple drops. What the U.S. looks at or Western you know countries look at as medical doesn't exist yet here, right? But it will very very shortly, shorter than anybody probably even recognizes. So I think preparing for rec is really just about building brands that a you know, working professional would find appealing if they walked in and they wanted to buy, you know, something to get high. Uh, and also, you know, somebody that has a real, you know, nutraceutical purpose or need for it. 
The city of West Hollywood has been at the forefront of decriminalizing the use of cannabis, and the city has a long track record of supporting cannabis use for medical purposes and recently adopted a resolution in support of Proposition 64, the Adult Use of Marijuana Act, which aims to legalize and regulate the use of marijuana for personal use. For more information, you can visit WeHo.org or contact Amanda Hyde of the Cannabis Education Forum. Amanda's number is 323-508-4233. The City of West Hollywood hosted community forums recently to encourage conversation and gather feedback about the annual L.A. Pride in West Hollywood Festival and Parade which is produced, of course, by Christopher Street West. Now, the first community forum focused on the most recent L.A. Pride event, discussing likes, dislikes, and challenges that the city, Christopher Street West, and community members faced along the way. Now, the second community forum focused on the future of L.A. Pride in West Hollywood, including potential impacts of construction for Phase 2 of the West Hollywood Park Master Plan. That is the biggest contribution that the city of West Hollywood makes is, is to public safety, and, and again, it's almost a half a million dollars. There is no easy solution in terms of public safety for expanding the footprint. Public safety is going to work with event services and the producer to consider all possibilities, but we have to keep in mind that EMS calls, which are emergency calls, increased by 150 percent from 2015 to 2016, so the amount of resources public safety has to stage is really massive. West Hollywood Park Phase 2, and that means that uh, West Hollywood Park uh, over the next three years will be in construction. By January of 2017, this is uh, what we expect uh, our park to be like. The area that is green will be available for Pride itself, uh, that will be the area that's available, and the area in blue will be under construction. Now, if you weren't able to make it to the forums in person, you can watch the videos at youtube.com slash WeHo TV. For more information, you can visit WeHo.org or call the West Hollywood Events Services Division at 323-848-6495. At a recent city council meeting, the city of West Hollywood presented certificates of commendation to the Los Angeles LGBT Center graduates. And congratulating the graduates of the uh, center's program, Cleo Reichart. <laughs> Diego Peralta. <laughs> Hunter Smith. <laughs> Anna Luquin. <laughs> Sage Johnson. <laughs> Alan Salazar, <laughs> Dujour Gray, <laughs> Valeria Rodriguez, <laughs> and Hikaru Johnson. Congratulations. Please join me as we present you with your certificate. As we made our way to the testing site, we knew we would pass the test. Something told us, as we were sweating bullets over questions we had no clue about, that they just snuck in there for fun of it. A voice in the back of our head that kind of sounded like Skylar's told us we would pass. Well, folks, as you see today, we all passed. The city also presented a proclamation to the Women's Advisory Board for the Women's Equality Day. And so Women's Equality Day is our opportunity to honor the unrelenting tenacity and spirit of those who work to secure women's right to vote and highlight the importance of voting rights and civic participation. And the city presented a birthday proclamation to Ivy Botini on her 90th birthday. Tonight we want to acknowledge her on her birthday and thank her for her years of service to our community. Ivy, happy 90th birthday. This is so appreciated. And um, 
I, I want to thank everyone for keeping in touch with me while I was in the uh, physical rehabilitation place for just about nine weeks. The city council has been so generous in their caring and the community, the community has been just, it's, it's hard to express how many people uh, got in touch with, if not me, sent cards and uh, it, it was a wonderful, if it could be that, experience. <laughs> West Hollywood has a new mobile command center and we'll show it to you right after this short break, so don't go away. No one knows how long it will last. I was sworn to protect the realms of men, but who will save us when the water runs out? Hey there, fellow Californians. I know you're staying golden by managing your energy use, which means managing water, too. <laughs> Especially during a drought. So install low-flow shower heads or a faucet aerator. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> to find rebates and more ways to manage water, visit energyupgradeca.org. I'm picking up my latest upgrade with a forklift. Stay golden, California. Learn to save water and money at energyupgradeca.org. Welcome back to WeHo TV News. I'm Larry Carroll. Now, for many years, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department has used a converted motorhome as a field command post here in West Hollywood. Now, that motorhome is more than 20 years old and thankfully retired. We, though, have a new one, and it's much better. I can't tell you how excited I am about this van. I did a little bit of the work on it, and, and people didn't mention... Uh, it's going to be environmentally friendly. We put solar panels on it. It uh, can be hooked up to electrical. It can be hooked up to a generator. The whole idea is this van can go out and can be out for 24 hours and not have to run on gas. So that's super exciting for the city. We made sure it's so technology advanced. I can't figure it out, but in five years, it'll still be a good workable situation for the city, which is fantastic. The city's new state-of-the-art mobile command center vehicle will provide a safe spot for first responders to be situated on location during incidents and will aid in rapid communication with local, state, and federal agencies to help ensure public safety. So one of the things that's going to be great about this uh, command post, we've always used um, an RV, a, a motorhome of some sort, some better than others, some more uh, well-equipped than others. This one is going to have uh, the computers we need to do our inputting and uh, information gathering as needed so we can do that in the field rather than having to drive back to the station. We also have communication from there. So if we're on a, a, a fixed post somewhere, we'll be able to communicate as we need to with the department, with the fire and whoever else. So we're very excited to get this rolled out. As soon as we get the computer, the radios and our appropriate decals, uh, you will see it out and about. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department has for many years allocated the use of a motorhome to sheriff's personnel at the West Hollywood Station for community education and for use as a mobile command post. The motorhome is now over 20 years old and it was cost prohibitive to repair the vehicle so it is no longer in use. The new mobile command center van can be used as a community vehicle and serve as a mobile command post during special events or during an emergency or natural disaster. This dual purpose van can be utilized to enhance community services and provide a venue for the distribution of educational and crime prevention related materials. 
The ban has state-of-the-art equipment compatible with the needs of first responders. It was professionally modified by an upfitter experienced in command vehicle interior design and installation. The city and the residents stand to gain incalcul incalculable benefits from a more modern, high-functioning mobile command post. For more information about the new mobile command center vehicle, you can visit WeHo.org or contact West Hollywood Public Safety Supervisor Bonnie Smith. Bonnie's number is 323-848-6371. Now, it's hard to believe, but the WeHo pickup is now three years old. And they've been such a great success that we've had to expand them uh, citywide all across Santa Monica Boulevard with additional days. So we know the ridership is high. If you don't already know about the pickup line, it's free. It runs evenings. Uh, don't take a risk getting a drunk driving. You don't have to hassle finding a parking space or, or an Uber driver. You can just take the pickup line on weekends. For more information about the WeHo Pickup, you can visit WeHoPickup.com or contact West Hollywood Transportation Program Administrator uh, Francisco Gomez. Francisco's number is 323-848-6454. The City of West Hollywood is now getting the word out about the electrical utility work taking place on Robertson Boulevard between Santa Monica and Melrose. Now, through the end of October, Crews will install an underground electric utility system and remove all those old power poles. Now, work is going to be conducted during nighttime hours from 10 p.m. through 6 a.m., Sunday night through Friday morning. And Robertson will remain open to traffic. No work will take place on Friday or Saturday nights, and businesses will be accessible during construction. Now, for more information about this underground work on Robertson, you can contact the job representatives, uh, Chris Droge at 951-830-7866, or Paul Graham at 760-983-9526. Now, as usual, there are a lot of things going on in the local arts community here in West Hollywood. First of all, we're happy to announce the selection of Kim Dower as the city of West Hollywood's next city poet. A resident of West Hollywood for more than 30 years, Dower was born and raised in New York City and holds a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Creative Writing from Emerson College, where she also taught. She has published three highly praised collections of poetry and teaches workshops at Antioch University in Los Angeles and is also a literary publicist. Congratulations, Kim Dower. And there are a few West Hollywood art grants up for grabs right now. The City Arts Project Grant, the Cultural Resource Development Grant, and the One City, One Pride Grants all open now for applications. And the art exhibit Worth a Thousand Words, Portraits of Artists and Writers is still on display in the West Hollywood Library. Now these works by writer and photographer Pat York offer a rare glimpse into the lives of 45 artists and writers through photographs and anecdotes. And of course, there was the Cube. West Hollywood welcomed Brazilian-born artist Manuel Lima to the Sunset Strip for 10 days as he created an interactive performance piece called The Cube in which he lived and worked in public view. Cal Arts student and, and uh, pianist Manuel Lima, he's there almost all, he's there right now. He's all by himself probably, just sitting in the cube playing. And uh, it's really kind of fun. So it's at Sunset Boulevard uh, over at our public uh, parking, uh, surface parking lot. Now this 10 foot square translucent structure constructed around a shade tree contained a piano and strings of red light bulbs. And in it, Lima integrated original music and light compositions with daily life and interactions with passers-by. This cube is awesome. More information about these and other WeHo art stories, you can visit, visit weho.org arts or contact West Hollywood Public Art Coordinator Rebecca Amen. Rebecca can be reached at 323-848-6846. Are you registered to vote? Are you sure? City of West Hollywood is holding voter registration pop-up events through October to encourage the community to participate in the November 2016 general election as well as in future elections. But we want to make sure that your voice is heard in the upcoming general election in November. So 
If you've moved recently or if you're unsure about whether you're registered, then don't forget to re-register. The deadline in California to register for the 2016 general election is Monday, October 24th, and the general election will be held, of course, on Tuesday, November 8th. For more information, quickly visit weho.org slash elections or call the City of West Hollywood's City Clerk's Office at 323-848-6409. Well, that's it for this edition of WeHo TV News. For more information about the stories you've seen here, you can always go to our award-winning website, WeHo.org. And for the latest about what's happening on WeHo TV, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Larry Carroll. Thanks for watching.